In lesson six, we're going to start to look at the quick reference toolbar. Uh, it's my terminology for it, not anyone else's. Uh, sometimes I, I have my own terms that come from other software that I use. Uh, this is actually one of those principles that uh, could be done for two or three different ways. It's, uh, two or three different ways of selecting a gel, for instance, and the quick reference toolbar is one way of doing it. And it's really useful to cover because it's uh, sitting there all the time when you, in your UI, you can't get rid of it. So uh, it has some uh, nice quick shortcuts you can use to, to grab, grab features. Um, I tend to use it when I'm creating a project from scratch. I might fill up my, uh, my list of moving lights and, and fixtures and things that I'll have on the project. I'll do that at the very beginning because then I can quickly reference them later on rather than find them later. Same for my gels and my gobos. I just I look at the library of things that might be used in the projects and load them all in there. And sometimes if I'm working on several projects, you know, if I know I'm doing my own light and design work, I will have a, a template WYSIWYG uh, project with all of my favourite colours and gels and lights in it so that they're always there, ready to go, so I don't have to load them up each time. This is lesson six. We're looking at the quick reference toolbar and the user interface. So that is this area here. This is you know, favourites, another, another, another term for it. I have to stress that you know this, this is independent training, so uh, WYSIWYG may have different terms for some of the things I'm saying. I, I call it a quick reference toolbar. A lot of my terminology comes out of other 3D packages, you know, uh, professional you know, uh, film and animation software. So I end up using some of the same terminology that they do because it keeps me consistent across all their systems as well. Um, so just to explain how this works, let's try going to the fixtures library. And here is, it's all blank at the moment, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go new fixture. So when you right click, you bring, bring up that window. I can now choose a fixture that I think I want to use. So I'm going to find a, let's find a Mark, Martin Mac Viper, just because I know that's in here. Uh, scroll down, Mac Viper performance. There we go. So I'm going to put that in as one of my favorites because I use it all the time. I'm going to label it. I don't want all this you know, type of lamp. Um, so I want to know what, what it is and what mode it is, so I'm going to click OK. And there we go, we've got a little symbol there now. I'm also going to add a source for, because I don't think I know a venue that hasn't got one. ETC, ERS, don't ask me why ERS, that's just where they say things to. Source for, and I'm going to choose a 36 degree lens. And we're going to cover the fixture library in more detail later, so don't worry if I'm rushing past it. Again, I'm going to get with the lamp, don't really want that, just want CE, source for, in fact, don't want CE, just source for. There you go. So I've now started to build up a little library of, of fixtures. Uh, I could do the same thing with accessories, new accessory. I might uh, just put in type, let's look for a color changer, C changer. I still have some of those, so I'll put one of those in. Uh, it's a CMY color mix that goes in the source form. I might also add, let's see if we've got GoBo rotators. GoBo rotator. Uh, single gobo rotator, it's a generic gobo rotator. There we go. And some colours, let's just put a few colours in here. Uh, new gel. I'm going to have Roscoe. Roscoe super gel, I'll never remember which one's which. Roscoe. Right down there, Roscoe 80, primary blue. There we go. And let's do a Lee filters color. So I'm going to go back to Lee. Okay, we're going to cover this in detail later, but getting a little sneak peek here of how some of these libraries work. Um, and I want a Peacock Blue. So a couple of blues for us to try. So I've got Roscoe 80 and Lee 115. So now I can quickly go to here and I can select a fixture by clicking on it and it brings it up in the window. Uh, and I can't place it yet, and I will explain why um, when we get to that point in the, uh, in the training. Uh, so that is the quick reference toolbar.